Whether from television shows, therapeutic purposes, or your college years, you've probably heard of psychedelics. But did you know that there are naturally occurring and synthetic psychedelics? Natural psychedelics refer to substances found in nature, including plants, mushrooms, and biological matter which have not been manipulated chemically. Synthetic psychedelics, on the other hand, are produced through a chemical process. And while natural psychedelics have not been manipulated through a chemical process, you can still prepare or produce natural psychedelics using control methods to increase their safety, potency, and efficacy while still considering them natural. For example, ayahuasca and psilocybe mushrooms are prepared and consumed as brews or grown and processed in a lab-controlled environment to enhance their safety. In both of these cases, these psychedelics are still considered natural psychedelics. The distinction between natural and synthetic can sometimes get blurry as you can also synthetically create psychedelics found in nature such as psilocybin, mescaline, and ibogaine. In contrast, synthetic psychedelics are created in a controlled laboratory setting and are often more consistent in their chemical composition and potency. This can make them easier to study in a scientific context as researchers can more precisely measure the dosage and effects of the substance. Most synthetic substances have only been discovered within the last century and include compounds like LSD, MDMA, and ketamine, among others. Interestingly, LSD is actually a synthesized version of a natural compound found in parasitic rye fungus. Another difference is the duration and intensity of the psychedelic experience. For example, synthetic DMT often produces effects within just a few minutes, but can take up to 10, while plant-based brews tend to produce effects within 20 to 60 minutes. Under medical and therapeutic supervision, and when taken in prescribed amounts, natural and synthetic psychedelics are thought to be equally safe. This assumes the synthetic compounds being ingested were produced in a regulated and safe laboratory environment to ensure their purity and consistent potency. But regardless of whether they were produced naturally or synthetically, all psychedelics are treated and scheduled similarly. Ketamine is the only psychedelic medicine that is currently legally available for medicinal purposes. Other psychedelics, both natural and synthetic, are currently considered to be controlled substances and are only available for therapeutic purposes through clinical trials or breakthrough therapy and special access programs offered through the federal governments of the U.S. and Canada. Though both MDMA and psilocybin are expected to be available for therapeutic use in the United States within the next few years, there are many studies underway to evaluate the effectiveness of many psychedelic medicines for the treatment of mental health and addictive issues. Using both natural and synthetic psychedelic compounds, all of which have seen promising effects for the treatment of mental health when appropriately paired with therapy. As you can see, both natural and synthetic psychedelics have their differences, but they can be equally safe and effective when used properly under medical and therapeutic supervision. Regardless of whether they are created naturally or produced synthetically, all psychedelics are treated and scheduled similarly, and many studies are underway to evaluate their potential benefits for the treatment of mental health and addictive issues. Have you tried psychedelics before? Or would you be interested in trying psychedelic-assisted therapy? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you're always in the know.